Sometimes uh, some of you ask me what product I used. Um, this is a video, so you can see what I'm using and then um, to produce those big huge ripple that I have. So I have bonsai soil here, but that's just more like for my maples and stuff. I do mix that with potting soil because I don't want them water locked. Um, you don't have to use it. I just I just use it and it's still cheaper than like regular like real bonsai soil. This is my number one to go to, Alaska fish plant food, basically the stinky ones. Um, this is another one, I got it every year, at least three bags of these uh, from Costco, uh, basically earthworm castings, theirs is pretty good. So I think I use about 10 to 12 bottles minimum for like six plants every year. Um, I'd use a lot. And soil, just buy whatever organic. Um, just um, in general, I use everything organic because I don't want to split between eating crops, fertilizer versus non, non eating ones, like chemical ones. So I just lazy. Everything usually is organic. I'm a, I like EB Stones products, so usually it doesn't have to be EB Stones. Everything is fine. So it's alfalfa meals. You can also go to pet store to get alfalfa there. Uh, just make sure they're just like. It's plain alfalfa and nothing else, and I was told that's cheaper, but I usually just get it from fertilizer stores because it's like it's it doesn't make a huge difference because I don't have that many plants. Um, the tomato ones because I'm growing tomato again this year. I want to see if the tomato fruit go better with the tomato specific uh, food fertilizer than the plantains. I do use plantain and rose tone. I'll show later. Um, so there's the soil builder here. I use it as mulch. Uh, and also to amend my soil, my clay soil. So as you can see here, I basically use it here as mulch area so that way I don't have to weed it as black. Whatever you see here is basically the worm casting they saw earlier. I also use, like I said, um, as Poma products a lot, everything. So I use rose tone, I also use citrus tone, plant tone. But basically all the espuma formula and they have the biotone formula here so it makes the roots um grow better because of the bacterial thing that the soil needs uh, i started to use uh sure start this year so it's gonna test it if it makes the root ball even more gigantic than what it needs to be um i use uh here you can see uh bone meal I also use uh, blood meal sometimes for the leaves. So bone meal is for basically bone is like foundation for the roots. Um, and then I also have I think there's another bone meal here or something. Is either bone meal? No, it is a cap. So if you don't want to use fish emulsion because it's like you know hot and stuff because it's been so bad, you can use cap. And here uh, I'll show a picture. I can grab it up. But basically this is the happy frog uh, maple uh, fertilizer so i use that all on my maples and stuff and i think that's basically it for the most part um yeah that's basically it so basically i'm uh, i use a lot of cap fish emulsion plant on whatever tone from espoma happy frog for the fertilizer for the maples bone meal blood meal um some soft sure star i'm testing out like i said I think actually Espoma is good enough, but then since I saw it this year on my tomato, I bought it anyway. And whatever tomato fertilizers. Just the fish emulsion can get your root ball already very big. You just have to keep at it and add it. And you don't want to add it when it's summer because it stinks real bad. Um, so yeah, that's it for the fertilizers. And soon you'll get big, gigantic root ball like I did if you do that and like I said the first year I usually focus on root which is basically all those stinky stuff and bone meals second year then I'll do blood meal for example for the leaves because I'm a high believer if you get big root ball then you can get good support for the plants and yeah this is it hope you guys enjoy it bye